Part 5, Day of Anger, also known as Gun Law, is an Italian spaghetti western from 1967 directed by Tonino Valeri. The movie stars Lee Van Cleef as Frank Talby, an aging gunfighter who takes under his wing Scott Mary, Giuliano Gemma, a young man treated like dirt by the people of Clifton because they believe him to be illegitimate child born from rape or prostitution. As Scott learns from Frank about how things really work outside their hometown, he starts developing into more assertive person until one day when tensions boil over leading them both down path towards bloody revenge. Compañeros was released in 1970 directed again by Sergio Corbucci starring Franco Nero alongside Tomas Milian and Jack Palance. Set during Mexican Revolution, Compañeros follows two men, Swedish arms dealer Yodelaf Peterson, Franco Nero, and Mexican revolutionary Paco, Rodolfo Montiel, whose paths cross while they are on separate missions. Together they team up against General Mongo, Bruno Corazari, a corrupt military officer working for American interests trying to stop them at every turn. With humor mixed with action, Compañeros became popular not only for its exciting set pieces but also for memorable soundtrack composed by Ennio Morricone Sabata is a 1969 spaghetti western directed by Gianfranco Parolini. The movie stars Lee Van Cleef as Sabata, a mysterious gunslinger who is hired by a group of wealthy businessmen to recover stolen money from a corrupt banker. Sabata employs his unique set of skills and gadgets to outwit the villains and take back what's rightfully theirs. Despite being less well-known than other spaghetti westerns, Sabata has gained a cult following over the years thanks to its stylish action sequences and Lee Van Cleef's memorable performance. A Bullet for the General, also known as Kian Sabe, is a 1967 Italian-Mexican co-production directed by Damiano Damiani. The movie takes place during the Mexican Revolution and follows an American mercenary named Bill Tate, Lou Castell, who joins forces with a group of Mexican rebels led by El Chencho, Gian Maria Volante, to steal weapons from an army train. As they make their way across Mexico, Bill begins to question his allegiance and must decide where his loyalties lie. A bullet for the general has been praised for its political commentary on imperialism and revolution, as well as its complex characterizations of both protagonists and antagonists alike.